The president said today that he is still open to the possibility of holding accountable those who drafted the previous administration's torture policies. Under pressure from Congress and critics, Mr. Obama indicated his apparent change of heart this morning after a meeting with Jordan's King Abdullah. He told reporters that officials who approved the interrogation techniques could still face legal liability, but not those at the CIA and elsewhere who carried out the actual interrogations. The OLC memos that were released reflected, in my view, uh, us losing our moral bearings. That's why I've discontinued those enhanced interrogation programs. For those who carried out some of these operations within the four corners of uh, legal opinions or guidance that had been provided from the White House, uh, I do not think it's appropriate for them to be prosecuted. Uh, with respect to those who formulated those legal decisions, uh, I would say that that is going to be more of a decision for the Attorney General within the parameters of uh, various laws, and, and I don't want to prejudge that. Jonathan, what should Attorney General Eric Holder do? Is it now time for him to appoint a special prosecutor to, uh, to handle this? Well, it's long overdue. What he should do is, quite frankly, to do the job that was described to him, the job that he took an oath to uphold, and that is to enforce the laws. You know, when he was in his confirmation hearing, many people criticized him for his role in the pardon scandals at the end of the Clinton administration, and he admitted that he had made a mistake in going along with those pardons. That political role of his that he apologized for is minor in comparison uh, to what has happened already. There is an undeniable uh, claim of a crime here, a war crime. The evidence is insurmountable. You have not just Bush officials who have called this torture. Obama, Holder have also defined this as torture. The International Red Cross has defined this as torture. The vast array of experts have defined this as torture. Even conservatives that were carrying the water for the Bush administration have disappeared in defending, largely in defending waterboarding. And so this is as clear as it can get, and yet Holder has, has not a appointed a special prosecutor, which has been baffling uh, for many. He needs to appoint a, a special prosecutor and not limit it as to who committed uh, the alleged war crimes, to allow a neutral, respected person to uphold the law. And then there's no retribution, like what the president referenced earlier. There's just the enforcement of law, and the investigation goes where crimes will take it. White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs refused to say how high up the ladder an investigation could lead but he also would not rule out the possibility that it might lead all the way to President Bush. Wouldn't the logical conclusion of any thorough investigation have to include officials as high as President Bush and Vice President Cheney? Well, David, that's the really strange thing. In the last week or so, we've seen an effort to define a potential investigation uh, in terms of the lawyers who gave these, uh, who wrote these memos. Uh, that's just facially ridiculous that if a war crime investigation does not look at the people who drove the trains, they look at the people who told the trains to roll. They look at the people who not just committed torture, but who ordered the torture. The lawyers will indeed be investigated, and they may be held accountable, but it is the people who ordered the investigation. And those would be George Bush and Vice President Cheney, the CIA director, uh, the attorney general. They implemented, in full knowledge that it was a war crime, a torture program. Program. Now, these lawyers have something to answer for, but the effort to define it in terms of lawyers is something of a beltway shift, that is, it's setting us up for failure. And in many ways, what Obama did today may be just simply shifting the blame to Holder so that he can be the fall guy. Because if he defines this solely as whether lawyers will be investigated, uh, he's very likely going to find a legal reason not to do it. But a true war crime investigation would be given to a special prosecutor who would follow it where it would lead him or her. And that would most certainly lead him to the former president or her, to the former president or vice president, and the people like the CIA director and attorney general who pushed through this program.